Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide and this one we are grabbing everything possible in Assemblance Oversight. Uh, this one was developed and published by Nilo Studios and is available to you for just £7.99. Now before we begin, give that subscribe button a smash for way more 100% guides and a lot more content as well. Now this is a great little adventure game, just like the first Assemblance, if you remember that, and again, it's just as easy for us, which is great. Ten achievements, all basically story related, but it's all mainly for doing different endings, which you need to be doing a lot of varying stuff in order to get all endings. Now this will get you the full 1000 in around 40 to 45 minutes, could be even less. So, with that being said then, let us begin. So, go ahead, click A, click A to start a new game. But I know what you're thinking. Impossible. I should be dead. You're right, I should be. But here I am. And we are in. Now it looks all pretty, looks all lovely. You press the right trigger to zoom. You can sprint or walk slightly faster using the left bumper button. Press A to interact with objects in the world, including opening this door right here and walk forward. Go ahead again, zoom in using the right trigger. Walk forward a little bit into this cube until you get that sort of distortion. And so the game begins. <laughs> Uh, no, no, nothing like that. But we will be coming to this sort of hub area quite a lot throughout the game, coming back to this computer uh, quite a lot as well. So when you're at this little terminal here, press the A button. And there's basically, f uh, click reboot system. Don't bother with the safe mode. I don't actually know what it does because I never clicked it, but just don't do it anyway. So there's sort of four areas throughout the game that we'll be traveling to quite a lot. Obviously doing different things in each area. Obviously, for us to get different endings, different colours, and to get the different achievements. There is some good news, though. The memory you were investigating remains... So now we're finally good to go. Click the only one that's there, the Tessera Valley. Tessera? Or Tessera? Mm, Tessera. It sounds and looks a lot nicer. So this is basically the, sort of the tutorial-ish first part of the game. You sort of zoom in, have a look at these ducks, geese whatever the hell they are, swans? Man, I'm gonna sound like a right idiot. Basically, they'll just start flying away and <laughs> you'll get the distortion anyway. You, pre you can now press Y to actually exit the memory and you will always, whenever you exit memory, you'll always be at this point so now we can go back to the terminal. I know, no, tamping, isn't it, mate? Very important, very fuming. It's just a quaint, mountainous landscape with some birds. Discovering where this memory originated requires accessing restricted areas of the index. I'll run a few queries to keep management occupied while I break down their firewalls. I mean, to be honest, the game is extremely easy in terms of uh, button prompts and everything, so once we can get back onto it, we'll now choose Assemblance Office B, and now we can again, we can just move forward. Remember to press the left bumper if you want to sprint or jog a little faster. Go around this table here, click on the uh, laptop, the A button should prompt up, there we go. And then just zoom in on the cube and walk forward. If it doesn't, you should always get the distortion to be able to end a memory and if it doesn't happen just sort of keep zooming in and zooming out and walk forward and you'll get it eventually. It can be slightly finicky, but yeah, I mean this game is extremely easy in terms of, like I said, button prompts, uh, just keep walking forward at this point, zoom in and walk forward. Um, yeah, there's nothing too complicated about it at all. It's just, it's really nice, fun. It is quite an enjoyable game, but like I said, it's just easy enough for us. So, dead bird, that's protein, so I'm happy with that. And we get our first achievement of the game. And after that, you can now press the Y button to exit the mode. And again, just head back to the hub. We'll be here sort of about 40 to 45 times, I think throughout the game. Good thing I'm looking out for you. If management is this concerned... So once we can press A and we're going back to the Tessera Valley this time, 
By the way, every time we look in on that cube, I always expect to see Philip Schofield's face appear. That's a joke only really for British people, to be honest. Uh, just keep walking forward then, you'll see this dead, uh, delicious looking bird. A few onions, bit of gravy on that. You can't go wrong then with that. Uh, turn around to the left, uh, go up this little bit of hill here, and you will come to this sort of bunker looking area. Just keep walking forward. This can be good. And that'll end the memory. So now go back to the terminal. Hell of a DJ me, ain't I? Their assessment. I can't let that happen again. Again, you can either wait for the dialogue to finish or maybe not. But now we go into the new thing that's just come up the Installation 3F06. And again, this is only, they're all extremely, extremely small areas, but we'll be visiting, revisiting these areas loads of times. Now, what you'll need to do first then is before you go into the bunker, go to the left behind the tree, get the dead scientist's walkie talkie. Right, so once the Y button appears there, we can just click that to exit the memory. This next part will be very important for us. It's sort of slightly timing, um, which we need to actually access the room. So go back to the hub, the terminal computer, whatever you want to call it. And we're going back to Assemblance Office B, which is the second out of three options. Now, just go to the door which is at the back left of this room and the timing is very important here. What we need to do is wait for the walk guy in the walkie talkie to say Besta are you there? And as soon as he says that you've got to smash the A button immediately. So Besta are you there? Then hit the A button. And if done correctly, then the door should enter for us, which is all good. If it doesn't happen, you'll just have to uh, replay that bit a little bit again, that's all, so it's not too bad. So we get an achievement for it, and we can also pick up the flashlight, which is on the desk, and that should be good enough now for us to exit. So, yeah, so again, if, you, if something, if you end up failing something, you'll literally just have to do the tiniest little bit again. So from there, you'll just have to, uh, I believe, click Assemblance Office B again, and then just do the timing bit again. So you're not really missing out on much. So again, just wait for the dialogue to finish, wait for the computer to hurry to back up. There we go, look. Press uh, the A button once again, and we're going back to Installation 3F06. It's only a matter of time before they find a way to see this end, 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 end. And this time what we're doing is going straight down the bunker. Now we've got the flashlight so we can see, so we ain't gonna get, you know, messed up and all paranoid in the dark and stuff. Because there's, there's a lot of people that's scared of the dark and that is fine. Me too. Especially when you're downstairs and you're the last person in, you've got to run upstairs. Ooh, that is scary. Now, right down to the end, you'll see this little terminal here, press A. Now, you can mash the A button if you want. Um, just click OK here, just keep mashing the A button for a few seconds or so, about 30 seconds. And then when the B button prompt comes up, which tells you to exit, you can exit right then. So there's the B exit sign, so now we can go ahead and click that, get out of here. Now, don't go back the way you came, there's a little pathway off to the left there, so that's where we're going next. 
Uh, don't worry about the lasers, they can't hurt you, even though they do look like slicey boys. They slice you up momentarily, but they don't, so they're all good. Just pick up this walkie-talkie of the dead scientist. And now we'll have to go back to Assemblance Office B and do another uh, little timing section for us to get in through another door. So as soon as this dialogue's over, we can then press the white button to go back to the old Habubini. are being misled. Your guidance, AI, has been compromised. Only I can lead you to the truth. Pay no attention to that. Management has gained access to all of my active channels. I'll have to perform a hard reset. You'll have to manually reboot the system using... The ah, holy crap, what's going on? Nah, nothing really, nothing else happens here. You just got to make sure to click the reboot system and not reboot system safe mode. The, the top answer Rebooting. always wins. So, yeah, that was difficult, wasn't it? We're back. Though I'm not sure how much time we have left together. Let's get back to your investigation. So, we're going back to Assemblance Office B. As I said, we're doing another sort of timing section now to get through another locked door. Now, this time, what you need to be uh, hearing out for is... I am finding no apparent evidence outside the chamber. So as soon as you hear that, I am finding no evidence outside the chamber, immediately hit the A button. Breached. All systems have been aligned as instructed. I am finding no apparent evidence outside the chamber. Now, Chief Engineer Carter Bester, employee 0016, requesting clearance. That should now open the door and you're good to go. I think you can do it if you're even halfway through the... Um, the I am finding no evidence, but obviously it's better to just do it ASAP. So zoom in and walk forward again on the Philip Schofield cube here. And you're going to see three oof, weird, creepy looking head boys. We're going for the middle one. So zoom in on the middle talking head and just walk forward. Keep on walking forward for around 10 to 15 seconds. I mean, this is a hell of an acid trip, by the way, if you're on it playing this. Oof, Jesus. Not that I condone drugs of any kind, of course. <laughs> now we just uh, uh, end out, uh, end up outside the room. Press A on the laptop, and then zoom in. Now this is very important. What we need to be looking at is three F O six, and it's two three four one. This is for a keypad that we're obviously going to need to enter. Now this should be the same for everyone. So this bit isn't too bad. So two, three, four, one. It'll be the same anyway. So we're all good. We end up back outside the hub right here, and this time we'll be going back to installation three F O six. And again, what we'll be doing: go through the bunker and then go straight towards the very, very end. Apart from the fact, of course, this door is locked, so we can't get through to the very, very end yet. But remember, the code is 2341. Make sure to press the Enter button, which is on the keypad, rather than backing out, because, of course, you won't enter. So, yeah, as soon as you actually get through this locked uh, door here, now we can go to the very, very end. Now again, just like earlier, keep smashing the A button until you get the button prompt to exit with the B button. Once you're done and out, go back towards the left path where the lead slicey boy looking lasers are and just keep on walking forward and we're going to end up back in our apartment. There are things you know for sure. Certainties. 
Those cycles and patterns, they become our truths and our facts. But from here, you see them for what they are. This is going to play out just a little different than the first time we came here. So walk towards the door again, um, obviously pressing the A button to open it up fully for us. This time there's not going to be any Philip Schofield cube in here. Just keep walking forward past all the, the ugliness that is here into our nice looking kitchen. Just keep on walking forward. You can't go any faster than this, unfortunately. Just keep heading towards the table where you see the helmet and gloves. They will then disappear. Go ahead, turn around, and there will be a scientist behind you. I don't know, maybe he's checking out your ass or something, but there's the Philip Schofield cube, so zoom back in on that for us to carry on, move on. And we are back in the sort of tutorial um, area now. In fact, we're getting all kinds of fudged up here. The acid trip gets worse. And nothing changes. Your perseverance has been quite impressive. This is the end for me, but your path to the errant memory's origins is clear. For now. I had to sacrifice myself so you could succeed. I hope it's worth it. What you do with this information will determine your ultimate fate. So hopefully you guys have come down nice after that. We've got Venera 17, a new option for us to choose. So that's the first one we'll be choosing. Just walk in and keep walking straight forward. Again, trying to sprint as much as you can. But this is going to unlock our first ending achievement. And we'll be getting a few more ending achievements within the next sort of four to five minutes as well. So just keep walking forward and it'll eventually end on its own and it'll boot us back to the main menu but don't worry that is exactly what it's supposed to do and then we can just continue the game and we'll basically start off where we left off Just mash the A button a few times, obviously whatever you do it's going to boot us out anyway, again, don't panic, this is exactly what it's supposed to do. This is what the game wants us to do, if we want to get all the achievements anyway. So, press and continue, we're right back where we started then, and what we'll do is walk forward, press A, and we'll go back to Assemblance Office B to begin with. And what we'll be doing now is getting uh, the different colour endings, so again, zoom in on the cube, Keep zooming in until the, your screen should now turn red. Lovely job. So as long as your screen's red, you can now get out of there, back up by pressing the Y button. Going back to the hub, we will now click Venera 17 again, the last option. Uh, once again, what we'll be doing is just walking forward, continue walking in forward, and that will be the next Ending achievement unlocked. Noise and easy. The only path to success was through failure. There was never a guarantee we'd ever reach our destination. Everything appears black and white until you look closer. I did what I thought was right. Was it worth it? Do the ends ever justify the means? We'll see. This time it doesn't even give us the option whether we want to, we're being booted straight out. So, <laughs> once again, continue then, and go ahead, go back to the terminal, this is what we need to be doing. Back into Assemblance Office B. I don't know what happened to Assemblance Office A, must have burnt the fire or something. Zoom in on the old Philip Schofield cube again, we'll be getting the old red screen of potential death. But there's no death this time involved. Go ahead, back out again with the Y button. 
Now, of course, go back to the hub. The next location for us to be getting our next color and next ending, we need to go to installation 3F06 again. Now, this is another timing part. It's not too bad, but basically, if you do mess up and fail, I did once, you'll have to go back to Assemblance Office B, get the red screen, and then come back down here. So that is, again, if you do end up failing that. So just uh, be aware of that. But basically, we'll be going down the sort of path where the red lasers are. And you'll see like this little glitch or something in time. Oh, in this, You see that little glitch just happening there? You have to time it extremely precisely. As soon as you see it, hold your finger down on the left bumper. As soon as you see it, walk forward now. Walk forward. And hopefully you would have caught that just in time, that if you keep walking forward, keeping your finger on the left bumper, you will start this very, very fast process. You'll just keep flying towards, <laughs> well, keep flying towards the end. If you did fail that, um, basically you'll come up against a scientist. And again, like I said, you'll have to go back to the Office B, um, get the red screen of death. Not death, but go for it again. But if you've done it right, like I said, you would now get this sort of uh, white background, which is just looks all pretty. But we'll be going back again into installation 3F06, walking forward, going down towards the bunker. So, yeah, as you can probably tell, uh, this ending's just a little bit more complicated, but, you know, it's not too bad, really, is it? So, again, walking, 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 always bloody walking. Now we will, for the first time, need to enter a code. Uh, not in this one, there's a little keypad next to it. So keep mashing the A button here until you get the exit prompt. And the emergency override keypad will come out. Now, again, the code for everyone will be exactly the same here. So again, as soon as you press B, get out of there. There's a keypad right next to it. And the code is 325 three three four so that's three two five three three four press the enter um, button that is already on the keypad and that will give us a successful memory accessionization accessionization is not a word but i'm claiming it so there we go go back past the lasers then and straight through to the other side where we will enter a room with a sort of little triangle in it and then press the Y button we'll enter the hub once again do you really think she could actually and once again press the A button we'll be going back to installation 3F06 only this time we won't be entering the bunker We'll be going back to where the dead scientist was behind the tree on the left. And there'll be like a little butterfly that you can see. There he is, a little butterfly. Zoom in on the butterfly, walk forward a little bit, and then that should eventually... It took me a few <laughs> minutes for some reason. But eventually, as soon as you hit it at the right angle, you will go back to where the hub is. But you can't actually access the terminal this time. So go towards, uh, towards where the white light is. Walk through there, and that will bring us back to the actual working hub once again we're going back to installation 3f06 this time and we're basically doing what we were doing with the white looking beautifulness of background so we'll go right to the very end we'll input the exact same code and then go through the door with where uh, down the path with the lasers the old slicey boy lasers so remember the code is three two five three three four and then press enter This time then we enter a room with the old Philips Schofield Cube. Uh, again, zoom in on that, walk forward, get the distortion on the screen, and the same three talking heads will appear from earlier on. Uh, well, one will join us. There he is, you late bastard. Once again then, zoom in on the middle one, keep walking forward for around 10 to 15 seconds.
So once again, it brings us back to another alternative world where the ter uh, terminal doesn't work, so we'll just walk straight through the whiteness right here. And then we'll be back in our real world. And as you can tell, we've probably got a green screen. So we've got our green screen now. So now we can go ahead. And what you think you might have to do is go to Veneera 17. But we're actually going back again to installation 3F06. And by the way, I had to laugh at the three head sort of thing. The, the one coming late sort of like, right, you're on stage now. Oh, shit, shit, shit. So here I am, guys. Here I am. I'm all good. Uh, <laughs> once again, walk straight through to the end of the bunker. Go straight to the keypad, only this time we'll be entering code 015292, so that's 015292, and then press enter on the keypad, and then as we've done quite a few times already in the game, turn around, go down to the left where slicey lasers are, and continue walking forward. And what we get now then, here is the creator of all colors, of all worlds, etc. But this is actually very beneficial for us now. So we get an achievement obviously right here. But now we also have the ability to press the X button. And that will actually cycle through colors. So as you can see, green, blue, white, red. Pressing the X button will now give us the ability to do that, so this just makes things a lot easier for us to be able to get the final uh, two endings, I think, now. But this is it then, we've got all the colours, so again, what you will be wanted to do first then is um, press an X, cycle through until we get the blue screen. Which I just did, but again, you know, so there's uh, four colours there to choose from, red, blue, green, and the sort of white and black background. Get the blue background, go to Veneera 17 on the terminal, and walk forward, and that is the achievement for that one done. And we are coming close now to the very end of the game. There's only one more sort of... Not even complicated, it just takes a, f a minute or two longer. To get that particular ending to do so, just keep again walking forward, going as fast as you can, straight to the uh, straight to the door, straight to the other side, and it'll boot us back out to the main menu. But again, more importantly for us, we will now always have the ability to keep changing color using the X button. So that is perfect for us. So go back into the game here. The next color that we need is the green one, as you can see. So I got it first time, lovely. Go back to Veneer 17, do the exact same thing. Keep walking forward, achievement unlocks. Lovely. I told him, I told them all. Everything is my responsibility. That person's fired, that person's fired. Even that person's fired. I'm fixing I'm everything, fixing everything. I did say two endings earlier on, I was by far extremely wrong. Uh, when we continue, when we're back, we'll be going for the white ending this time. So keep on scrolling, it's all random, um, unfortunately, I don't know why it just doesn't do four in a row, but there we go. Again, back to Veneera 17, walk forward, keep on walking to the end for yet another achievement. I genuinely love these parts of games like this, especially the first one as well. You get all the colours, you get everything sorted, and you just slam out achievement after achievement. It's a nice sense of pride about it, isn't it? We thought we understood its applications. But what we built, it was just one poor design on top of another until... this mess we're in now. But up there, high above all that pressure and scorching heat, the message was finally clear. It was showing us the past. And our future. Now, I want you to see.
So now we are back and we've got this sort of slightly complicated-ish one to do. So go back to Assemblance Office B then. Um, again, there's a few things to do. Ignore the Philips Schofield cube there. Go into the back left room, the first door we unlocked earlier on. And have a look at this map here and you'll see the picture at the bottom. Whatever the hell that picture is, can't even see it. But we need to be skipping every colour. Zoom in, skip every colour until you see the letter A in the top right hand corner. It might be quite difficult to see, but you can see it there very faintly. Make sure that particular picture has A in the top corner. So turn around, go onto this computer here. Now, the code that this bit's random, completely random for everyone. The code that we need to be finding is 251075. So that's 251075. That is what we all need to find on the left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, it'll have a completely different random code for you each time. So for me, it's 173088. So remember, on the left-hand side, you need to find 251075. And then on the right, it'll have a different random code. So make sure to write that one down. And then when you're done with that, written down your code. Obviously, press Y to exit the memory. We'll be going back to the hub now and going back to installation 3F06. Now it's at the keypad at the end of this bunker where we will be putting in our random code. So hopefully you got that written down and that you should still be good to go. If you obviously went on and you couldn't remember or you obviously didn't write it down, you can just go back and go back into the assembly offices there and they should still be on screen for you. But jump all the way, all the way down to the end now you can have a look at that, doesn't actually have to do anything, so you can just go straight onto the keypad. I don't know what I'm doing to be honest. So there we go, on the keypad then, it'll be random for you again, but for me it was 173088. And then go ahead, press enter. Lovely job. Warning, well we've ignored all the warnings so far, and it's gone quite well for us hasn't it? So HP with that kid. Here we go, as we've been doing throughout the entirety of the game then, past the red lasers and just fly on by, buddy. Fly into it. Don't be scared. Daddy's got you. Ah, oh, that was just weird. Right then, so for this bit, we need to be now getting the green colour. This might take a little while, but try and get the green background. I'm not sure why it does it randomly for, it's a bit weird, but we get there in the end. So make sure to get the green background. Now, behind the left scientist, you see, you will see a little paper with three question marks on it. Look directly at it, and if it, if it doesn't, I sort of aimed for the pin above the sort of circle there, and the, um, th the paper with the three question marks. So it should, if you do that, look at either one of the pins, and it should get you to this bit with this uh, little boy here. If you remember from the first game, and then you can just go ahead, press Y to exit. And that's that. We now go to the hub. Go to Venera 17. And it's done. We're done. We're all done. Brilliant. Happy days. So congratulations on yet another 1,000 out of 1,000. Or Platinum Trophy, of course. This has been an honestly and absolutely enjoyable game. I really, really enjoyed it. I do hope they make a third one as well, to be honest. But that's it for me then, guys and gals. Hopefully you've enjoyed the game. Hopefully that the guide has helped as well. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, and definitely subscribe. I'm all over the social medias, and I'm also now on Patreon, if you would very kindly like to go over there and take a look. All the links are provided in the description below. But thanks so, so much for watching, guys and gals, and I shall see you in the next one. Big love.